Never mind! Today, hey, this is the ninth time I fucking did that. It's like, I, I, I must be known now as the guy who stalls out his vehicle every race. Did I tell you how much I hate Rio? I think everyone hates Rio. This course isn't fun. Oh! God. All it takes... All it takes is one single tap, and this race is just going from hard to just plain unbearable. And it's long, and it's tedious, and it just pisses me off. You know, you know what mode I miss Xbox. I miss it. I miss during the time where you can set it to where you don't get receive notifications during like with specific like uh, um, online moves. Like for example, if like you're online but you're busy, uh, set it so that uh, you won't receive notifications of like people being online or whatnot. Oh god, because my brakes are fucked. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to pit because if I don't pit, I'm going to fucking kill myself because of how difficult this car is to drive. Uh, everybody's like, why is he pitting? Because my car is damaged. What else am I supposed to do? Oh goodness. Oh, he had the pit too. Thank God. I wasn't alone. Unless they're thinking that there's uh, quick stops. <laughs> uh, be evil as that nice. Alright, so let's not fuck up that turn this time. The turn that destroys my vehicle every freaking time. There we go. And the rest of this course is now easy now. Or was it... Was it that turn? No. It wasn't this turn. It was around here that I fucked my vehicle up. Yeah, there. Man. I really wish it had Maple Valley. Maple Valley was a good course. Said every single first uh, <laughs> veteran. <laughs> I mean, hell, enough of the car DLC. How about we start getting some track DLC? Let's get some more tracks in this game. I mean, of course, I guess quote unquote Forza's lived. Forza Six must have lived its course, I guess, because they're working on Horizon. But then again, that's a different team. But I'm just saying, though. You know, some track packs would be cool. I mean, don't stick extra tracks on car packs and whatnot, because that's just boring. I mean, what if you just want the track alone? Huh. I don't know. It's just my b barbaric thinking, I guess. <laughs> Like, I'm better make that turn. This car has enough grip to make that turn. Uh, oh, God. He didn't get off the plane. There we go. I mean, this, this course is so bumpy. It's unbearable. Like, there are too many bumps in this course. The amount of bumps, the amount of bumps in this course is too damn high. You have that there, you have that there. And you think you're cutting the course, but you're not. You have to make that turn here. 
I mean, seriously, this feels more like a fucking rally stage than anything else. A rally stage with just nothing but pavement and fucking concrete and disaster around every fucking turn that I almost crashed in. You know what? That's, that's, what this, that's what every video's been so far in this series. Nothing but anger. I don't know why. I'm always angry, I guess. I can't help it. But then again, this is what happens when, when I shorten the video series. Instead of being like one, two, or three races. Uh, I didn't pay for that. Good job. I am so glad I didn't... My vehicle didn't decide to just, you know, self-destruct. At least, okay, thank God these vehicles are actually more durable than, I don't know, any vehicle from fucking GTA 4. I mean, Jesus Christ. If you hit the sidewalk, the fucker explodes. <laughs> it's a joke! <laughs> Jeez. Also, I've played... I've been playing the crew lately, you know, because of, you know, Microsoft's Game for Gold, which is phenomenal, by the way. I mean, Jesus Christ, what a, what a knockout lineup. I can't wait for what they do in July. I mean, if July is disappointing, I, I, I'm going to be angry. July, you can't let go of the gas pedal now. I mean, well, minus what? Gold Simulator, but that was just a game I always wanted to try because, you know, Everyone let's plays it. Why not give it a try, right? Why not give it a go? I mean, you can't be... You can't be that quote unquote bad. Oh my god, why is 8th in the pit again? I'm so confused! Uh. Oh goodness, this, this race is almost over. So we never have to look at Rio again. Until it pops up again. I'm not gonna make it. I am way too far back. I'm like a minute behind. <sighs> Only if I didn't drive that first lap like a, if I didn't drive it like an idiot. I mean, for God's sake, I had like what, one podium finish? No, two. Uh, yeah, one podium finish. That's about it. Kind of sad. Oh, I did finish. Oh, it's 23 seconds. Now. Or 22 seconds. That other guy, he's not going to finish. Yay! Which I'm kind of not. I'm kind of shocked, to be honest, that Volvo will be my second vehicle that I have full affinity for. And again, this is during when that bug occurred where there was actually contact and whatnot, which is kind of weird. Anyway, uh, this is the first race I did for when, that Sunday, when this event actually went live. And I started pole, and I'm actually quite surprised with myself, because this entire race I had to defend. It was, for me, kind of hard. Like, I kind of now understand the purpose of the stalker challenge now, because when you're being chased, man... You're, there's so much you have to do. Like, you have to keep your keep your eyes in front of you. You gotta keep on looking, uh, keep your eyes in front of you. What the fuck? <clears throat> you gotta, like, you gotta keep your focus ahead of you. Like, yeah, every once in a blue moon, you look in the rear mirror to see exactly how close they are to you and how terrifying that it could be or if they're gonna try to ram you or something like that. I don't know, but I I, I, think I did a... I said I did a good job this entire race. So anyway... Uh, we're also going to be using this replay as a bit of an update for now. Or talking about what's going on in the future. Well, hilariously enough, Super Scorpio has, the, has an Xbox One now. And eventually, when I say eventually, I'm going to try to... See if I can get my hands on GTA 5. Because I'd actually like us to start doing some shenanigan videos together. I don't know when he's available or whatnot during that time. But we'll probably be on what? We'll probably be on party chat. So that we can communicate with each other and probably shoot each other constantly. He's definitely like a higher level than me.
I mean, with contact, because the, the glitch, apparently, and with collision on, this was an actual, I can say, legitimate battle, you can say. <laughs> I mean, the driver behind me, oh, the pressure was real, like, I, I, <laughs> is based on two things, if I was going to mess up or if he's going to mess up. Basically, with this uh, course layout, it's the first turn that decides who's going to win this race, basically. Not the last turn, it's the first turn. And I'll tell you why. Because about 85% of the people that I race this course on always gets this turn incorrectly. And they'll always be too wide. Or break, too, break way too early. And it gives you a chance to be ahead of them. And stuff like that. And during the little, and during the S turns, that you can still mess up and like hit the sides and next thing you know your car is being married to the side of the rail and you're not going to be able to get off anytime soon. It's a mess. I mean this turn is just as important like if you're sliding or drifting it's pretty much over. But again it's all about grip. That's all it is. It's all about finding that right moment knowing when to accelerate and when not to accelerate. So I think this is the fourth lap, I think? Fourth or fifth lap, I mean... I, I, yeah, yeah, I could probably, not I. The editor could probably tell you exactly where we are, lap-wise. But this, uh, I mean, this whole race was intense from start to finish, like... I think I did get past at one point, like, during the turns, but I was able to, uh, I guess, outbreak them, I guess. I, mean, I guess that's the joys of racing, I guess. Is when you is when you find someone that's within the same within the same skill level. Not racing somebody who's like who actually raced this course in real life. Who's just toying with you like, yeah, I wanna make it look like you're gonna win, but last turn your ass is mine. Something like that. I mean that's what the Stalker Challenge is basically. Minus the actual real life experience and whatnot. Anywho, as I was saying, <sighs> we're now reaching, I think, this is the final lap. Yeah, this is the final lap. Because if something happened, something funny happens. I don't know if it'll show it, but if it does show it, it it's pretty goofy. It, it, I don't understand what caused it, what caused my car to do that. Unless, I don't know if there's contact at the very, very end of the race or something like that. But my car goes sideways, and my AI doesn't know how to recover from it. This makes me really wonder, how does my uh, driver turn really drive against other people? But we're going to see. It's, this is the, yeah, this is the last lap, I think. Nope. Oh, no. I just drive into a wall. And there he is. Where did wait? Where did Agent Wright go? <laughs> oh, the camera guy looks so lost. Like, man, wait, where did he go? Oh man, that that was kind of weird. But yeah, the race is over already. Right now, we're just waiting for everyone to finish, and that's the race. But yeah, I'd like to thank you all for watching this, I guess, little extended clip, I guess. Versus the usual 8, 10, 12 minute episodes that I'm going to try to aim for now and on for all the other stuff. But anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you'd like to see more shenanigans like that, you can always hit a like, subscribe and whatnot. Subscribe. <laughs> Don't mind me, I've been watching early internet stuff lately. It's been affecting me. Ugh. But anyway, I like to thank you for watching. And as always, everybody, have yourself a fantastic day. Later.